Okay. So hello everybody and uh, I decided to do it in English, not in German, as whereas it is written down in, in German in the program, but I will do it in English. And uh, my name is Alex Schill. I'm uh, the creative head of Service Plan of the Service Plan Group. And uh, we are not a single agency, not a single creative agency, but we are kind of that's what the name already says, we are a group, so we are a group of a digital agency, media agency, creative agency, healthcare agency, and um, we are pretty big, three and a half thousand employees. We operate in 14 countries, and we are still independent, what we are very proud of. We did pretty good in some of the latest award shows, and this is what I want to talk about today. Our world changes fast, and so is advertising. So advertising has to change because the world is changing. And everything you heard uh, yesterday and today is circling more or less around the topic of a world that is changing. Changing to digital, changing to mobile, changing to innovation, to products. And just, just a couple of examples you all know. For example, in the same year as Kodak went bankrupt, um, Instagram was sold for two billion dollars. So both companies are circling around the topic of pictures. Another one, Airbnb and the Hilton hotels. So Airbnb sells more beds every day than the Hilton group worldwide. And the last one you all know, Uber versus taxi. Uber, an amazing company, disrupting completely the whole taxi business around the world. And growing and growing and growing. So the reality is that business ideas from the least expected angles disrupt brands faster than advertising can save them. So what should we do? And this is not the end. Just imagine what happens all around the 3D printing. 3D printing will change the world again. Or as we had many speeches today and yesterday already about the VR and 360 degrees, this will change our habits of watching movies, about gaming. And the best thing is that you do not even need a lot of money because you can just throw your idea out to Kickstarter and then collect money and crowdsource money out there. So this is a completely different situation than it was like 10 years ago. So welcome to the communication area after advertising has died. But what should we do? Should we now all close down our advertising agencies, online agencies, mobile agencies? Definitely not. I think we have to change. As the world is changing, we have to change as agencies as well. So and this is the title, Substance Kills Clamor. I strongly believe that we have to get away from inventing something like the Marlboro Cowboy or whatever. So this is the past. This is gone. We have to come up with ideas that are much more substantial than like 10 years, 20 years ago. So we have to find a way to connect to our customers, to, to embrace them, to engage them in what we want to say. Um, so I, I have, uh, what I brought is like three recommendations what to do in this changing world. And I brought some examples from our agency to underline what I want to say. The first one is, Create content that fits your brand, or find content that fits your brand or your client. And uh, well, there's a lot of talking going on about content, and uh, I think there are so many definitions out there about what content is. Um, I can't count them anymore. Um, I want to give three examples about what I think content can be and where to, where to just jump on the, on the train of creating and finding content for brands. The first one is just, just jump right into the brand, just to the heart of the brand, to the core of the brand, and create something that is shared out there. So just take, take the soul of the brand, create something, and try to make people share that thing. The first one is uh, from our agency in Belgium for Coca-Cola. It's the Laugh Mob. I don't know, probably some of you saw that. It was pretty successful in uh, social media out there. And uh, this is the case. <laughs> it's 
So this guy is amazing, isn't it? It's a laughing trainer. I didn't know that there are laughing trainers out there, but it's a funny job, so you can laugh all day long. Um, so this was just jumping on the core of the brand, which was, in those days, still happiness. Another thing that you can, how you can create content is like go circling around the offers your company or your client offers to, to their customers. So not directly in the brand, but circling around and trying to create a PR hype. So trying not only create people or make people share that thing, but create a kind of PR hype. That's what we did in uh, the office in Berlin. Did that for quite difficult client, which is the German Anwalt Association, the German Lawyers Association. And we call it the man who cut everything in half. And again, I have a little case study. When you're planning to marry, you don't. Uh, well, again, this is something that is creating a PR around a topic and then jump on with the brand and reveal the solution. Uh, the next one is, the third one in the, in the part of content is one of my favorite cases and one of my favorite ways of, of creating content is not only creating communication, but kind of creating a product. Um, so just, there are so many startups out there and just find the right startup, help them to build the brand help them to build their product and build the brand around it, and then try to find, in cooperating with clients, with your clients, and offer them a product, which then becomes the content of the message. So this is a project, this is a product, one of my favorite uh, work from the last, uh, last 12, 24 months uh, from our Korean office. They partnered up, so we are, we are we're kind of partners of that company. It was a startup called Dot, and they invented the first smartwatch for blind people, communicating in Braille. And this is still a prototype. Uh, it will be out there in, uh, in autumn this year. And we now try to, uh, so we help them to build the brand around the product. And now we try to find a partner like Deutsche Telekom, uh, which is our client, or Saturn, which is our client. Just find the right partner that is somehow related to the message of the product, which is communicating in a social, social area in this case. So this is the case for the product itself. My name is <clears throat> so personally, I think this is something why I am so passionate about this is because now after doing this for 20 years, I, I have for the first time, I have the feeling that I really can change something in the world. So not just delivering TVCs or something, but changing a little bit the world out there. And uh, now think about that being, being promoted by Deutsche Telekom. So it is content for Deutsche Telekom because it is for communication and it helps the product to grow around the world. It was just shortlisted, by the way, at the Incarnet Innovation Line. So keep your fingers crossed that it will win a line there the next week. Second recommendation I want to give to you today is involve your customer. It's not a new message. We heard about, we, we were talking about that for a couple of years already, but I strongly believe that we have to involve our customers in what we want to say. So it's not about praying from stage to the customer, but make them become close to your product, make them come close to your product, and uh, make them play around with your product. I have two examples for that. The first one is for our client Sky. It's called Sky Screening, and it's playing around with a uh, mobile technology. So this one is not so much about selling the product, but making them feel the product, making it experiencing the product. One more very new one is also playing around with mobile, because mobile is the one that you, the, the, the device that you can reach almost everybody. So everybody of you has a mobile, so this is, this is where we can reach you. And this is for Saturn. It's a very little device, but I think it's, it's brand new. It's just, I think it got, got out today in the shop, so you can download it. Um, it's called Shop Clock for Saturn. Again, kind of clever mixture between, so I don't know if this is advertising or what it is. It's not a product, it's not advertising, it's something, but it helps the client to sell products. That's what we are for. Time is money. 
advertising, is it advertising, is it product, is it mobile, I don't know, but it helps to be on your device 24 hours a day and keeping you in touch with the, with the, with the client um, without even well, trying to sell you something in the first spot. The third recommendation is, which I strongly believe in also, is make it easy, let it be convenient, do not do something, let's not do something that is very complicated. Because there are so many messages out there, we have to be simple. And we have to, it has to work easy and it has to be designed very well. So I have two more examples. First one is for, client, for our client Metro. Very easy, uh, uh, kind of light, I like it. Let's have a look. Uh. <laughs> Pretty simple. Not at all complicated in our digital world, but brought down to a very simple idea with a very easy message. And the last one, as Metro is one of our biggest clients globally, I think Passage du Désir is not one of our biggest clients around the world, but it was such a nice idea around packaging design that, uh, that we decided just to do it with our French office. Um, and uh, it's a funny case study as well. So Passage du Désir. So, <laughs> I didn't bring some samples, unfortunately, but uh, nice package design, very easy, well designed, and very playful. So, these are my three messages for today. So, try to concentrate on content, whatever you think content is. So, there are many areas where you can find content. Make your customer be part of what you want to say, and design it very well, and let it work very easy. So, don't try to sell your product, try to sell emotions. Thank you. <laughs>